Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video tutorial with me Anna Marie. Today I have this card for you that I will be remaking in a slightly different colors using the uh, Blissful card collection, uh, the Crackle, uh, some papers from the uh, Blissful Roses, you can see this beautiful shading here and I will be using a wool flower dye also the uh, bloom flower dye I will add some pom-pom borders and some of the ornaments from our uh, border adornments um, shapes right for my main flower I will be using this particular beautiful uh, flower that I created using the waste from a dotty spiral die and if you haven't seen that video tutorial you i will include the link for that video in the description box below okay so let's start i've already die cut my wool flower leaf in my main base card so we're going to literally attach it to our main card So my mount is down. What I will add now, it's actually a little bit of watercolor painting using my rose quartz Inca gold wax. And as you can see, this Inca gold wax is really hard to reincarnate it. You just need a little bit of water and brush. Now you could also see a couple of videos on Inca Gold Waxes uh, on my channel and I will also include these links in the description box below for you. So I'm adding extra colour to my petals and I'm going to do the same thing with the second layer. And I will also add some colour to my wool leaf. But mainly what I wanted to do is add some color inside of my leaves. I am not covering my whole leaf using this color because I want some of the white showing as well. Okay, and that's enough for now. What I will be doing now is adding some shaky lines to the edges of my mound and also outside of my leaves as well. Okay, now my beautiful highlighted borders outside the leaves and uh, on the actual mount are done. 
I will start putting my flowers together. Now, all I'm doing, it's literally squeezing my petals. Okay, my flower is done. And I will also use this beautiful lemon color from the Blissful collection in exactly the same way. So now I'm going to plan where my main flower is going to go and I think it's gonna go here. Also, I have my two borders, pom-pom borders, die cut in the same color, ionized pearl silver that I use for my flower. And my border is going to go slightly under the flower here. So I'm just gonna attach a little bit of double-sided tape. These two die cut borders they beautifully sort of interlock and that's what's giving me that extra detail and that's okay for now we can do the trimming later on but for now we can start putting everything together lovely okay so my fiber is going to go here And I also have my wool flower in yellow. So it's slightly, I'm slightly curving each petal as well. This one is die cut in the same color, the gray crackle blissful card collection. So it's beautifully matching my actual mount. And of course, I have the uh, pink. So I have this beautiful arrangement. And now we can actually put it together. And now onto my main flower. And now my beautiful bloom flower dice flowers as well. And the at this point, I'm going to add the border adornments, perfectly shaped sort of swirls, and these beautifully complement my wool flower leaves as well. I will also add a little bit more of my fiber and this is going to go just here just to give that beautiful bounce and I have these beautiful yellow sort of perfectly matched little flowers and I'm going to add them in a couple of places as well. For the center of my flowers, I'm going to use obviously a couple of gems and these will also go on actual mount just to add that little sparkle.
And finally, my message. One of my favourite messages comes from the uh, typewriter messages. And I have, have a wonderful day. So as you can see, I uh, laid it on top of my waste card that I've used for die cutting my bloom flower. And this message, it's going to go here. And my card is done. Now, the only thing I need to decide on now, whether I would like to trim some of my pom-pom borders or not. I actually really like it. Now, obviously everything depends whether you have a, obviously an envelope big enough or a box big enough, but I will trim it ever so slightly. And you, can decide it for yourself. Right, so now my card is definitely finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Now we have, obviously, just like on this card, we have different colors from the Blissful card collection. So obviously you've got the salmon and obviously beige colors. This one is slightly uh, more spring-like kind of card with lots of gems, but it's up to you what you choose to create or recreate. Well, thank you very much again. I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial and if you liked it, please like, share, subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.